Mamma mia, Vankas! <laughs> Ciao bella, Vankas! Uh, Brian, Grazie was it? mille Gra- tutti, <laughs> Vankas! Thank you to you all, Vankas! Ciao bella! Or as we say in English, Brian, wasn't this race simply lovely? Simply lovely? What a simply lovely afternoon we had at the Monza track, didn't we? And, and hey, because it's not that deep, we can say it, and it's not ironic or mean for us to say that this race was simply lovely. Yeah, it's a simply lovely it, race. It's just taken it at face value because that's all it is. And, and trust me, none of these guys take anything personally. That's for damn sure. Don't listen to what Daniel Ricardo said about what Max Verstappen would have taken those comments as. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. Yeah, and, I, and I'm sure Orlando fans hearing us say that the race was simply <laughs> lovely won't rub them the wrong way at all now. Right, totally. It was a that was a simply lovely, lovely race, race. For, from sim- Charles Leclerc, and I'm sure if Charles Leclerc had said simply lovely, I'm sure Lando fans would have been completely fine with that. <laughs> I'm sure they would have been a hundred percent fine. Or if totally. Oscar had won and it yes. said simply lovely, yeah. I'm sure they would have been a hundred percent fine with that. Totally. If Oscar had won and then went quad shout out quadrant. <laughs> Then I'm sure that would have just been totally above board because listen, it's, it stop making something out of nothing. Stop making something. They are DTS fans. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, Lando. No, everyone's like these guys are professionals. They don't take things that seriously. Yeah, Lando was definitely not taking anything too seriously in that cool down room today. Ooh, that was giving Ben Affleck. You yes. know, <laughs> it was the, he's in his Ben Affleck era. Well, he actually, is in his... by, like last cool down was the tale of two land. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about last week. Lando coin. Yes. Lando coin was so up last week. Yeah. And he was he was like, yeah, full deployment. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did a uh, 120, 128, 113.8. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Full deployment. And this time it was. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I come to talk with you again. And all I'm saying is, you know, last week he was, you know, God's gift. Today right. he's shit. And it's like neither of those things are the thing. We just got to, everybody's got to breathe. Everybody's Dude, gotta he's, breathe. Not, he's not shit. The papaya rules fucked my boy today, dude. <laughs> papaya rules. Dude, you know, every time they kept saying that, I kept thinking, oh, Doyle rules. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a, that is, that such is a, a millennial, millennial ass reference. reference. Shout out Billy Madison. Yeah. Oh, Doyle rules. Papaya yeah. rules. Oh, isn't Zach Brown a member of the O'Doyle family? He Come is on. a member of the O'Doyle family right now. <laughs> He and literally just fuck- he literally just shoved Lando's face in like in the locker, and he went, "Oh, Doyle rules, yeah, Papaya Papaya rules, rules, Lando, Papaya, Papaya rules, baby. rules, baby." Everyone was trying to harsh his vibe, and he would not kind of let it happen today. He was just like, "We're doing awesome. This is everything's amazing. This is awesome." And then Nico Rosberg's like, "So what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> Zachary? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is actually wrong with you?" That's, yeah. what my, that's what my dad used to say every time I messed something up. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah. What is wrong with you? That was his catchphrase <laughs> to me. Oh, my God. What an unexpected way to wake I up. I mean, who would have thought that he was going to win this race? But listen, before we get into all that, obviously, there's so much to cover. Recovering Charles's win. Recovering Papaya rules. K-Mag, official race ban. Kimi Antonelli, officially in. Nico Rosberg, being an icon. Okay, where do we... Where should we begin, babe? There's so much to cover. I mean, do we give... This was a good day for business. Can we just say this was a good day for business? <laughs> yeah. I know you're a Lando fan, and people don't believe that you are. I just overshadow it so much that people are like, this is Lando. I'm like, he literally likes Lando. I don't know what you're talking about. I but- do like Lando, but, you know, the kid makes it hard for me sometimes. He does. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not. Can I just say, as a Lando fan, it's not easy to be a Lando fan. It's like fan. being the a kid- Jets fan or something. He- Right, I I knew I was gonna have to pick some type of like you know shiny yet tragic figure, and that's unfortunately <laughs> gonna be Lando. He just doesn't make it fucking easy. He just makes it hard. It's just hard to be a Lando fan because he, he even when he nails the first, everyone was like the first turn, the first turn is what you gotta worry about, Lando. <laughs> it's such a long run up, and he's had wheel spin. There's this has been the issue, and it's just like just gotta worry about the first turn. He hits the first turn. No, he it's perfect because he because Piastri had a slightly better off the line, yes. but then Piat so it was like 
Robert McKee talks about this positive, yeah. negative. So if right. you're a Lando fan, you're like, oh no, he muffed the start. No, then it's a positive. Then he gets yeah. him on the first turn. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, then yeah. he fucks it up. And, well, well no. So what up. happened was really what happened up to break it in. What, it, what to break it down? He covered off Oscar. Right, so he goes to cut off Oscar. He, he's like, "Not you, fucking <laughs> no boy way. wonder." But then he's on the inside line going into that first chicane, which is actually not where you want to be. So then, when he's Nico coming Rosberg out, Nico Rosberg disagrees. Nico Rosberg was like, "No, no, no, you want to be on the inside." He had control. He broke too early, but he broke. But we can argue about this later. But he he broke too early because he didn't actually think Oscar was going to do that. Which right. we can debate about, yes. like. Come now. on, you should know your customer at this point. <laughs> right. Yep. yep and yep, yep. they've gone over, but um, and the other thing I want to say is that Oscar like Oscar like went for Lando aggressive. Yeah. Then George went for Oscar, and Oscar was like, yeah. Oscar just completely yeah. removed George's. Oscar yes. just completely he actually yes. ruined two races. He ruined yes. Lando's race yes. and he ruined George's race. And I was so yes. like that by the way, Oscar like Lando should look at how Oscar dealt with George and was like, "This yeah. is how you deal with terrorism. <laughs> like it's, you fight yeah. terrorism with terrorism." Jo yeah, like George tried his little sneaky George thing, and and Oscar's like, "Well, now your race is over. Your right. race is over because you yeah. tried that shit on me." And Lando's like, "That's what Lando needs to do to Oscar." Totally. Well, That's he tried what he to, do that. to do He tried That's to do he, he did to that. Do. At the, he did that at the fucking turn one. He said, "No, no, no, no! I'll, I'll, I'll cut you off, yes. young Oscar boy." And then, yet, yeah, what, what happened? He, I watched it back because Lando got like he had like a little bit of, uh, you know, his 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 rear. He lost the rear at the end of at the at the second uh, turn of the chicane, <laughs> and then he had a bad out. He was like he didn't have a lot of grip going out of it, and then Oscar was like, "I smell." I could see. I was like, "Oh, I I looked at Oscar's onboard." And I saw Lando have that little wobble, and I and I just know I I just put myself in Oscar's brain, like being John Malkovich style, and I went, <laughs> and I just went, I smell blood, bitch, I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Yeah, oh. and and Land and then when he sent it on Lando, he was too, what was it? She was too stunned to speak, or what? Yeah, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was too stunned to speak. He yeah. was too stunned to speak, and he had he had like he wobbled, and then Leclerc went through. And yeah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare scenario. But I guess the question is, is like everyone's saying, well, Lando broke too early because he didn't expect it. But if there are, if Dems the papaya rules. Right. And, and Oscar is literally coming out swinging at every start. Yeah. He has to expect it. And like you can blame. So in the first level, you can blame McLaren for sure. It's like, okay, maybe McLaren should institute some team rules, but they're not. So it's like right. they're not. They're and, not. And honestly, so it, Lando honestly, has to then do something. Totally. About that. And if you and if you I, all the pre race stuff, Zach Brown's on his new. We have two number one drivers. This right. is the new talking point coming out of McLaren. We got two number one drivers. He's saying with a with a grin. I know that there's uh, Mark Webber's holding a fucking gun off off <laughs> screen to Zach. Yeah. Brown's okay. Face. Can we give maybe Daddy of the Day needs to just go, Mar Brian? We are currently without representation. Yeah. I want Mark Webber as my fucking manager. How the yes, fuck dude. did he make this happen? Dude, he, he, multi he got, twenty, he got him multi out of twenty that, one, multi twenty one, Seb, multi twenty one. Oscar out of that fucking nuclear waste of a situation. <laughs> yes, at Alpine. Yes, where the people are like, "Do you hear the people sing, <laughs> singing the song of angry men?" All whenever yeah. they say there's a strike at Alpine, all I picture is that musical. I don't take yeah. it seriously. <laughs> I right. just picture someone in in um the 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 uh, Alpine factory with a yeah. massive broom. There right. is a castle <laughs> on a cloud. I don't take it seriously whenever right. I hear yeah, French sure. unrest unfortunately. <laughs> but <laughs> because of that musical. But right. um he gets him out of that hellscape. Yeah. And then maybe cuz it's like the only rational explanation the only yes. rational explanation for this whole thing is that there is something in that contract like, yes. no, bitch, yes. no team orders for, for my son. For That's my right. son, Oscar, they will be treated equally. Yes. Equally. And that has to, because I cannot see Zach Brown 
He's yes. everyone's like everyone's like. Do they not understand the? Ma-? I'm like they're smarter than you, dude. They yeah. built a rocket ship. You think they don't understand? They, you, think you think they, they don't? don't they don't know a fucking basic arithmetic? You don't think? You think they're looking at the fucking <laughs> driver stand championship and going? Duh! Yeah, they no, don't know how to they, count to seventy. They, they don't yeah. know how to count to seventy. Really? And that's divided what, by no. eight. They know. Right. They fucking know. But. Yeah. Zach was no. like, yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, Daniel Ricardo didn't work out. Lando hadn't resigned at that point. Lando yeah. had not resigned at that point. So they didn't know where Lando, Lando. So they were like, Daniel didn't work because Daniel was supposed to be the, Lando was supposed to be the apprentice that yes. like they eased in underneath yes. Daniel. Daniel didn't work out. Right. So they got rid of Daniel and they were like, fuck, what do we do? We have a young Lando. Who is not signed on for the long term? We have to get right. another future guy. Yes, we need a new guy that because we're we, so they they maybe just yeah. said, sure you can have number right. one driver status. And by the way, what a in his head, what a good problem to have. Right, what an amazing problem to have in like two years ago. Because yeah, you know how yeah, many yeah, contracts yeah. I've signed where I'm like, well, if that becomes a problem, then I'm a very lucky guy. Right. Now, <laughs> right, right, now yeah, they're yeah, the yeah. lucky guys, right? Yes. That they yeah. have a they have two really good drivers, and one of them – look, th- I'm not going to say this because Nicole's a close personal friend, and their whole family <laughs> did uh, a brat dance yes. Yes. in our merchandise. But Oscar's still mathematically in the championship. <laughs> That's Oscar true. said Oscar said it's too early. Maybe Oscar yep. has a point. Maybe Oscar has, has a point. Yes. He has been saying it's too early. He has been but saying it's I, yeah. And and, and 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 I mean we mentioned it kind of but the the other the key piece in this information cuz I don't know if Oscar was going into the this, this negotiation thinking Oscar was kind of between, uh, you know, he was in an interesting spot when he signed this contract. He wasn't necessarily in that much of a position to negotiate. I don't know if he was going to be like, no, there's no way I'll do team owners. He looked at Mark Webber, who had experienced the fucking PT. He has PTSD of team orders. That guy. multi. Yes. Like, we talked about it. Multi-21, Seb. Multi-21. Like, that guy is the was the poster boy for I got fucked over by my team. I'm sure when Zach Brown proposed team orders in the first draft of that contract, yes, Mark was like, "Listen, Christian. I mean, I mean, Zach, Zach. I'm talking to Zach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's yeah, got yeah, like yeah. real. Um, and let's not forget, their management team is his wife and right. So, but yeah, no, Mark definitely has a primal. Once you get put in that box, you're in, yep. you're the number two in his mind. Right. I yeah. Uh, and who's to say that he's wrong? I mean, I don't know that he's necessarily wrong. I think, but, but okay, that's the one side of the argument. The other side of the argument is that this is fucking crazy, dude. This is crazy. It is crazy because listen, this whole, this whole thing, right? Lando, the, the whole thing in, what was it? It was in Hungary, right? Where did the, where did the drama happen? Hungary. Where they, in Hungary. Yeah. All the Daener- what they said to Lando was, you're gonna need Oscar. You're going to need him. He's your teammate. For You're going to need him to win this championship. <laughs> yeah. You're going to need him to win this championship. You don't win a championship alone. We win it as a team. And then today is like, now's the time, babe. I mean, if not now, when? What is going on? I mean, he could have at least slowed down at the end. Because what is P2 versus P3? Right. At the very least, he could have slowed down. At the down very at that end, point. just does Oscar need another P two? That means nothing I, to him at this point. I, yeah. I kind of understand going for the win, but even still, it's like it, it could have been a fucking twenty point swing today had they fucking been in line. Because listen, there's a little bit of debate whether whether Charles would have because you know he he wound up uh, you know losing that position anyway with the undercut and who knows maybe the the one stopper was always actually the strategy no because and Charles they, they, would have won because, that race regardless it's because it's because the, the 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 wisdom is the conventional wisdom is if those two assholes weren't fighting yes. each other in yes. the front yes then they wouldn't have run out of tires R- right because because Oscar didn't want a hungry situation it's yeah. also if Oscar didn't trust that he wouldn't be undercut again. 
Yes. So he yes, was like, yes. I'm going to put in fastest laps. And Lando was like, right. I'm going to put in fastest laps. And they're putting in fast laps. And then they're like, our tires are gone. And Leclerc right. is just fucking chilling. Yeah. So, so it's because, and, and <laughs> I mean, Lando kind of PTSD. has a part to play in that too, because he was such a prick about giving this place back. Right. And Oscar yes. didn't want to be in that position. So, I right. mean, you can argue that a little bit. I'm not arguing it that hard. But that was probably playing in Oscar's mind like, yeah, I'm not giving this motherfucker an undercut yeah. window. <laughs> I am pushing really hard. Right. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know if they're just doing these team orders. If they're not doing team orders now, then when are they going to do it? R- right. Maybe there is a contractual end point to like when Oscar is like literally statistically out of it. <laughs> then it'll turn over to Lando. Because it doesn't make any other sense. There's no other explanation. There's no other rational explanation other than, like, it's in Oscar's contract that they can't fuck him like this. Right. I mean, when Zach Brown is, like, saying that we have two number one drivers, he is kind of saying it like he is legally, like, has to say it. I mean, there's, like, a there's a little bit of, like, when you're watching someone who's, like, saying a thing that they're, like... I gotta say this. This is what I have to say. This is what legally I, it's, there's a con, there's ink on papers saying that this is what it is. Yeah, and it's kind of like it's honestly crazy because it's a deal you probably make when you think you're the third best team, or the, you're just like I just yeah. want two great drivers. I don't give a fuck right. who finishes third or fourth in the championship. I don't care. I just want two drivers that are getting maximum points. But once you're the best team. The calculus kind of shifts a little bit and totally. And uh you might have hired a driver, a second driver that's too good. And now you're fucking yeah. in trouble. Right, and this is what they always say. All I mean, I think when that first thing when it first happened, it, uh, that's good problems to have, right? These are good yeah. problems to have. They're experiencing yeah. good problems. These yeah. are champagne problems. But yes. they're still fucking they're problems. Still problems. And and the reality is like as much as I feel like the, the air there is like, we've arrived and here we will stay. It's like, there's no fucking guarantees of that. Like, uh, you know, this might be the shot that they have. Right. This might be their 2021. This might be this, their 2021. This might what? be brawn. This might yeah, be their this, brawn. Yeah. And this might be like the season that is actually was actually feasibly possible. And like, it's only really possible right now for Lando, and they're just not doing the things to make it happen. Now Lando's not making it easy for them, but like when you look at these champ, like when you look at it, 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 they're famous for it. Valtteri, it's James, babe, Bubby. Valtteri get the fuck was out of the way. Nowhere near as close to Le- uh, Lewis as Oscar is to Lando, and. That contract was def. We know what that contract was when he signed it, right? For sure, I understand. But like, you know, of course he's not here's as the other close. Thing. But, he, here's but the other he's thing. A, I just say hundred and a hundred and six points behind Max. It's like it's it's just it's it's actually that it's not actually going to happen. It's mathematically possible. Also, <laughs> yes, I think too many Lando fans are really harping on the on these two instances where Lando. S- where Oscar quote unquote screwed, uh, where Oscar quote unquote screwed Lando or yeah. McLaren screwed Lando. But there's so many more points in where Lando or McLaren's strategy or whatever yeah. screwed up. Like, 100%. they're like, they're like, oh, well, these six points are really going to make the difference. I'm like, there's so many other instances and in so many other races that they fucked up. Yeah. That, or that, like all the races that Lando could have won that had nothing to do with Oscar Piastri had nothing to do with team orders. And I think there's this kind of like, I would say that this team orders thing is like maybe 40% of the pie chart of like why Lando might not win the title. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. the other 40% is just like beat your fucking teammate. Right. Start, you know, start like hit nail your starts. And then, Also, and also on McLaren's side, fucking execute the strategy correctly. Right. But it's, you know, it's, when, it's when, a piece yeah. of a pie. It's not, there's totally. way too much emphasis on this because people don't want to, people don't want to, especially like Lando fans and people in the British bias, they don't want to yeah, just yeah, nail yeah. down on this guy with a chance that, that's, that, that has his own culpability here. Well, it's like when, when Max won in 2021, regardless of your thoughts on that, that last race, 
I think in a lot of people's, what, 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 you know, as people have digested that, they're like, you know, I thought that that last race was messed up, but I think that Max deserved the championship. That's the kind of a lot of even people that are on the Lewis side of things that don't think that that, that or that they you know, were both worthy champions. Right, right, but they're not like, oh, like Max didn't deserve, like Max, like obviously deserved the championship that season. Not saying that Lewis even didn't, but Max, they both did, but Max definitely did. And right now, it just doesn't necessarily feel like Lando deserves the championship. I know that, like, statistically, he's still in it, but he's not putting in performances that are like, yeah, this guy really deserves it. Today, like, today was another example of that. Now, last there's more week races. he did. Last week he did. But it, last week he did. But, but, but that but car, it's, it, but it's the 50 50 races. That, right. that that you want to see. It's the races where, you know, Ferrari had a good car. His teammate yep. was right there. You got to win those toss up races. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just, that's, I just want to see him win those races where like th- there's a, there's a lot of people fight. There's a lot of dogs fighting over one bone. And I just want to see him come out with the bone. Not where totally. he's now. Now, now, this, this, listen. Like this thing is still not over. He still had. He you could know, still win. Is, he could still win this thing. He got eight points, which is more than enough to. If he got, if he had this, if this was the result every time, he would still yeah. win the yes. championship. And he still could because let's be honest, this Red Bull car is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I mean, Max today said that they need to change the entire car. And they ran like a Franken floor. They're like, we'll take some uh, old bits and some new bits, and they're completely yeah. lost. I think um, they, they they everyone keeps saying that Adrian Newey is not really the guy there. That yeah. there's like other guys, and it's just you can tell if he feels like he was the guy because now he's not really there anymore and he's leaving. A lot of people are leaving and right now all of a sudden, is it a coincidence that they seem fucking lost and that they don't know how to fix this fucking car? And the word on the street was that Adrian was like, yeah, I don't think, I think we need to change this concept. Yeah. 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 And they were like, no, 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 we'll just, we'll just re we'll just bring back. We'll just play the hits again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we'll just slap a few remixed of the same songs and right. put out the same album, remastered. It's like, no, 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 new album, yeah. new album, and they didn't want to right. do a new album. Um, and now they're maybe paying the paying the price for it. And although I, I don't, I think. I don't think they're going to finish seventh and eighth or whatever, sixth or seventh every race. I think that they're hopefully. I don't know about every race, but I don't know. It seems like the car, I mean, it seems like it's just Max is like, we, they're lost. I don't know. I mean, Ferrari's Ferrari and Mercedes have both had their moments of having pace this year. I mean, obviously today it's like, it's not out of the question to think that, they could be at at the very high, like they're the third best team right now. Maybe they're like they might be the fourth best team for the rest of this year. Because as you know, we are teamed up with BetMGM this season. We'll be using BetMGM lines to make all of our picks, and we'll have special offers for our listeners each week. If you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code Daddy, and you will get up to a fifteen hundred dollar first bet offer on your first wager with BetMGM. Here's how it works. You download the BetMGM app. You sign up using the bonus code DADDY. Deposit at least $10 and place your first wager on any game. You will receive up to $1,500 in bonus bets. If your bet loses, just make sure that you use the bonus code DADDY when you sign up. Vegas this season has been amazing. We don't know who's going to win any week. And if you're going to make a bet, make sure that you do it with BetMGM. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code DADDY and get your first $1,500 first bet offer today. Now back to the show. And even if Lando and Oscar are fighting each other, At Ferrari and Mercedes can put enough of a gap. Yes. Could Ferrari and Mercedes could win Lando this championship. Right. By just pushing Max down. Right. Which but is then, it, then it kind of turns one into one of these like championships where it's just kind of like our like, you know, they always ask, did did this team win it or did this or did this team lose it? 
And right now, it's it's a little bit like week to week, whether it's, is it Lando winning this championship or is it Red Bull losing this championship? And it's still a toss-up. That's still a 50-50 of, of what's really happening here. Yeah, they're playing hot potato with, <laughs> yeah. you know, with that. Um, yeah. It's crazy to watch because last week it it's, felt like, okay, yeah. they really, they got this. They can do this. And now it's like, they're blow. It's and now you're right. Yeah. It's Red Bull's blowing it. Well, they had. They're both they had blowing bad, it. It's like who can bad, blow yeah, totally. it more? Who can blow right. it more? Yes, you're watching two people absolutely limp to the fucking finish line. I mean, it's you it, know what I mean, it is. They, it's 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 yeah. like that South Park episode where remember when neither team wants to win to because they like in baseball, Little League World Series. Okay, and the South Park boys they don't want they want to lose so they don't go to yeah. the league world series because they hate baseball and they want to just enjoy their summer and play video games yeah so yeah. they go to the other team and they're like <laughs> listen like they're at the they're in the qualifying round they're like we don't yeah. want to go <laughs> to the world series so like you guys just win yeah and like yeah, have yeah. fun they're like we don't want to win yeah <laughs> like, we want to fucking go home and play video games they're like no we don't want to win they're like well fuck yeah. you we'll we're gonna lose so much harder than you and they both like just take turns playing yeah. horrible baseball but the other team is always better at doing worse yeah so yeah, the yeah, south park yeah. boys make it all the way to the championship because they're just worse at losing right, right. that's what it feels like is happening a little bit totally and then um, and then charlotte claire is like Wee! Yeah. i want to win actually yeah. Yeah, exactly exactly <laughs> it's a great episode if you haven't seen it's called the losing edge uh, um, I don't think I've seen that episode, but it's I mean, Randy. Randy's just getting into fights with, and Randy. The subplot is Randy's fighting every. He finds a new dad, dad to fight every yeah, yeah. every game. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it's but a like, brilliant episode. dude, Red Bull they botched a pit stop today. Did you see Max punching the steering wheel? Yes. <laughs> and then Max on the radio was like, "Listen, guys, I know it's a shit position, but can we fucking pay attention, please?" I know it's not a sex. I know we're not in a sexy place, but I am still leading the championship. Can we get our shit together, dude? It's like it's giving it's giving my dad when I'm in right right field, like picking daisies uh -huh. in in the league, and he's like, "Look alive, look yeah. alive out there!" Because the fucking ball just <laughs> yeah. sailed over my head because I'm just right. not paying attention. It's giving nobody's paying attention in the outfield. I remember that we were in, we are in our middle school basketball team. There was like, we were down like probably like 10 points and it was like the last minute of the game. And then everyone on the team was just kind of like ready to be like, all right, like we lost this one. Like, let's go back home to our girlfriends. Cause all you guys had girlfriends. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have a girlfriend. So all I had was basketball. And so, and, and I remember I was like, come on guys. And I was like playing full court defense. And I, I, I this was like a moment seared into my memory where like, I knew I was going to lose. But I was just like trying to make a miracle happen out of something that wasn't there. Mm. That's like a little bit what you know. I, I I felt for Max today. He's like, listen, I know this sucks, guys, but this pit stop. What? Come on, this pit stop. I, seriously. I also remember before a game. Yeah, we had a friend who's like now who's like a really successful lawyer now and is a, like very. But he just yes. Oh, he, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. He was like, he took middle school basketball really seriously. Really seriously, yeah. Really fucking seriously. And he was such an annoying person to play with. He never passed. He just, <laughs> he was a, he was like James Harden. Like he just got yeah. fouled and yeah. went to the free throw line. And he just, he would, he, he went, all right, guys, like, let's pray before, yeah. let's have a moment before of the game. Let's have a moment of silence and pray. <laughs> And I, I was not a religious person, so I <laughs> yeah. thought it'd be really funny because <laughs> he said to pray. I just went, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech <laughs> and he just took me and just threw me into a locker, and yeah. I hit my head on like the corner of a locker, and yeah. it hurt so bad. And I was like, "What is wrong with this kid?" Like. Yeah. It it's just a middle school basketball game, <laughs> and you said to pray, and I thought it'd be funny to do like the yeah. one Hanukkah prayer I knew in Hebrew. So yeah, it's just that's a, Max it's stabbing. just it's just a WDC guys. It's just a WDC. <laughs> Who yeah, cares? Max is right? throwing everybody into the locker. Oh my god! And then hey, 
Charles Leclerc, Ferrari, Fred yeah. Vasseur. Yeah, let's get let's get to it. Let's get to let's the give some actual, flowers. The, the positive part of the race. That's right. Well, actually, let's get to the negative part. Let's be negative. Let's keep being yeah, negative. Sure. Yeah, I feel, I'm with you on that. Brian, are we sure Ferrari fired the right driver? Hmm, let me think about it. You remember when that was happening? Ding, 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 ding. You remember when that was happening? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, what do, you, what do you Leclerc fans have to say now? The dude is him. He is him. He is <laughs> fucking him. Leclerc is him. That was a master place. A master place. He also, I to and and to give give him some more flowers. He he was on older hard tires than Carlos was. He pitted yeah. before Carlos, so yeah. Carlos on the, on the two stop like Lando's tires should have been. I mean, sorry, Leclerc's tires should have been in worse shape than Carlos's, but they weren't. He because Le- Leclerc is the smooth operator. He was like. <laughs> Making love to those tires like Manuel Ferreira, just like <laughs> just fucking nursing them and caressing right. them. Saying, I know, baby, I know. <laughs> I saying, know, baby, I know. And saying, I love that. I love <laughs> those tires. I love just that. Keeping them <laughs> wet and ready and just like, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah. And um, yeah, he just kept them going. He kept them. Um, he kept them. He kept those tires lubed up and ready to fuck for the whole stint. And he just he he saw those McLaren. He saw Oscar getting away from him. He's like, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, it was tortoise in the hair. He knew he was. Right, he right, was right. just. He was making love to those tires like a fucking like a the smooth Frenchman that he is or Monegasque. And then he how hot was that? I mean, how much did you hate him when he got on the radio and spoke fluent Italian? You're like, this guy is oh. incredible. Yeah. He's fucking speaking Italian and he's fluent in Italian, English and French. And he plays yeah. the piano. Yeah. He's like as good as Carlos. He's yeah. like faster than Carlos yeah. Sainz. Yeah. As yeah, handsome, yeah. speaks yeah. nine languages, plays yeah. the piano, and can like fucking pull a win out of his ass at Monza. Right. There was this great picture online of like Trump's when he won, Obama yeah. when he like Trump like the the National Plaza when Trump yeah. won, yeah. like outside DC, the Plaza yeah. when Obama won, and then yeah, the Plaza yeah, yeah. and then Monza when Leclerc won, and it was just yeah, yeah. so much. The crowd size. Yeah. What do you oh, want yeah. Monza? Bigger I mean, than any Trump crowd there's ever been, I think. It was crazy. I mean, he could have stormed the ca- – whatever the capital is of Italy, yeah, if he said – if you want They, they would have gotten the job done. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> if Leclerc was like, if you want to if you want to protect your country, you have to show strength, Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. would have been made king of Italy on that day. Today, Dude, he yeah. would be king of Italy. Democracy yeah. in Italy would have been over, and he would have yeah. been king. And they right. would have no, done it. They would have done really the damn is, thing. He really is destined to be the. He's destined to be a Ferrari driver. And I don't know that if he if he can really go anywhere else. Like I think that like when he's done with Ferrari or maybe they're done. I, I it, it the the love affair is so intense <laughs> when he's speaking Italian afterwards, and it just sounds so fucking good. And then you know there's there's an element to this, which is like Lewis Hamilton's coming in there next year. And there is a lot of talk about that. And there's, there's all of a sudden Charles's position as like golden boy of Ferrari is maybe under threat for the first time since he's been there. And today was kind of like a stamp of like, I'm not like even after the win, like Forza Ferrari and like the speaking Italian. Then all of a sudden I watched, you know, the, the driver's parade. They cut to Lewis Hamilton. Hey, Lewis, how's the Italian going? He tried to speak. He tried to say like, grazie. Me, he's like, like no. Brad Pitt in uh, Inglorious yes. Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. A river dirty. A river dirty. <laughs> <laughs> bueno. <laughs> ciao, ciao, bella. That's yeah. you know, Lewis. Like, I, I Lewis is going there. They're gonna love him there. But there's like, you know, the fact that Charles could speak fucking Italian. Is, he's been preparing for this moment his whole for his whole life. This is what he life. was. And and for him to win these two races this year, Monaco, Monza, it's huge. like it's like being an Ohio State or Michigan coach, and th- like that's all you got to do: win Monaco, yeah, win right. Monza. That's it. Right, 
Right. That's all you got to do. It, it, that's totally. the bare minimum to be a hero. Right. And he fucking did both of those things. He won fucking Monaco and Monza. He won where it fucking counted. He is the shit. Yeah. And uh, there's a, you know, it's uh, in the Alamo. They they yeah. asked for the guns or something. It, it, it might have, I don't know if it was the Alamo or Sparta. It's like a similar situation. I think it was the Alamo. Yeah. Where they wanted the, the, the Mexican army, they wanted they wanted the Alamo's guns and they wrote right. they, they just said come and come and take them. Yeah. That's what that's what Leclerc is saying. You want the top spot, you gotta come and mm -hmm. get it. You yeah. gotta come and get it because it's gonna be it's gonna be guerrilla warfare next year. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and we've seen hey, it's like a great problem to have, right? Great problem yeah. to have. Two number one drivers. We see what it's like. You know, it's when you have two number one drivers, it's tough when you're when you're competing for that top spot. I think it's tougher when you're competing for a world championship. I right. think if Lewis No, and right, exactly, Charles, exactly. Totally. I don't think like Lewis is, doesn't really get bent out of shape when George beats him on a fucking weekend. He doesn't give a shit. Right, right. Like, right. No, no, no. no. It's, it, here, it, it, it's if that car is at the front. Exactly. Then it's what they're be hoping to be. I mean, that's the you know, this is the fucking plan. This is what they're they're wanting. When did it when did it dawn on you that Charles was going to win this race today? Because like it kind of hit me like at a certain uh, uh, maybe like with like 15 laps to go. 15 it hit me as soon as McLaren ago. made the decision to do the double pit stop and right Claire stayed out. I was like, yeah, I don't really trust that McLaren made the right call. You know, yeah, I just I was like, oh, if McLaren thinks that that they can pit Piastri and and, La and Lando, that they didn't at least split the strategy. I'm like, Pfft. I had no I had no faith that that um, they were going to be able to come through. Everyone seemed so sure that it was a two stopper today. They were all so sure of that. Now I think because uh, I'm afterwards... dumb, I never I never want to yeah. do a pit. I never I'm <laughs> right. just I always right. think. What the you want to lose twenty eight seconds? What the fuck is what? What the hell is even that? Because you don't really see the one second and a half that you get back. You really feel a pit stop, right? Right. It, it's like to a dumb person, a pit stop seems stupid, right? Um. So I'm always like, yeah, stay out. Yeah. Get the <laughs> track too. position, keep the free air, and 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 be a, and and when they finally come up on you, yeah, drive just be to a, be drive a wide. Yeah. Be a, be crazy. Be a psycho. <laughs> be a psycho. It just seems like McLaren never make the aggressive call. They're always in pre events and yes. So and and you know Ferrari had the luxury of being like fuck it. What do we got to lose? It was the George right. Russell call. Yeah, that it worked out. And I also think it was so funny when they were saying, "Oh, when Piastri was coming through," and they're like, "Oh, Carlos Sainz has to defend like a lion here," and I'm like, "He is not." <laughs> going to defend like a lion <laughs> there's no fucking way he is going to make his car alonzo wide for leclerc <laughs> for the team yeah. that fired him <laughs> and he just and and piastri just whizzed by it was yeah I, I i i everyone people were saying that he put up a good defense i didn't think that was a good defense and i don't really blame him for yeah, not sure. putting up a defense what do, yeah. what do Carlos Sainz fans say to themselves after a race like this? Vankas, this collaboration is brought to you by CBDMD. Listen, millions of people experience burnout daily, leading to stress, anxiety, and sleepless nights. CBDMD offers a diverse range of products specifically designed to support sleep, focus, and recovery, providing the perfect solution to combat daily stressors. With CBDMD, you can unwind, relax, and get a restful sleep you need. Crafted from USA-grown hemp and rigorously third-party Already tested for quality and safety, CBDMD delivers high quality CBD and THC products that seamlessly fit into your daily routine. Whether you need to take the edge off a long week or enhance your overall well being, CBDMD has the right solution for you. 
Visit CBDMD.com to explore their full range of products expertly formulated to help you feel your best. And as always, you can use the promo code FRIDAY for 30% off plus free shipping at CBDMD.com. Committed to transparency, CBDMD conducts rigorous third-party lab testing on all its products. Each product is accompanied by a certificate of analysis on their website that verifies its potency and ensures it's free from contaminants such as pesticides, heavy metals, and molds. This product is not for use or for sale to persons under the age of 21. This product should be used only as directed on the label. It should not be used if you are pregnant or nursing. Consult with a physician before use if you have serious medical condition or use prescription medications. Visit cbdmd.com to explore the extensive range of products and find the perfect solution for your needs. And don't forget to use the code FRIDAY at checkout for 30% off plus free shipping. Also, if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. As they would say, smash that subscribe button, dude. Because we're trying to get to 30,000. We're at 29.1. We're trying to hit that 30,000. Let's, let's see how far we can take this thing on the YouTube. So if you're listening on, on Spotify, go over to YouTube and subscribe there. And if you're, if you're already watching this on YouTube, subscribe while you can, baby. You know, we got, a, we got an interesting... You know, I, I want to read this DM that we got. Did you see, did you see this? this? Someone was explaining what it's... This is what the vibe of being a Carlos Sainz fan is. And I think it's okay. maybe worth... It was interesting. Sometimes I just need to. I just don't understand. You don't understand. It. I, I think you yes. might understand this now. You now this now this was a very measured take. This take was not Delulu, which I think is what made it good. By the way, I think Carlos Sainz would be a. I think I think Car, I think McLaren would love to have a Carlos Sainz right about now. Okay, here we go. This is the take. This person says, it may be weird for you guys, but I don't. I just don't have any friends to talk to about F1, and I'm not a fan of communicating in the comments, so I just messaged you. I won't be offended if you ignore me. As a science fan, trying to understand why I like him the most. And no, it's not because of his looks. I've come to the realization it's that it's because he's never been a, quote, golden boy. He's still kind of an underdog who has to prove himself everywhere, and he does prove himself through intelligence, resilience, and gradual improvements. Like, that's just more fun for me to cheer for compared to the golden boys like Leclerc, Verstappen, Norris, and now Kimi. Science is just, mu- science is just much more relatable that way while at the same time impressive AF. Also, he has a bit of nerdy energy and is often unintentionally funny. This is what people latch on to with Mr. Science. They latch on to the fact that... He was never highly touted. Yes. That he kind of, he was a late round draft pick. Yes. That, that people slept on. And right. he's kind of, and he's grown into a very, very good driver. Yes. That now, is, I, think, I, I totally yeah. understand that. But, yeah, to, yeah, to, but, yeah. but to go from there to they shouldn't have fired him for Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, or, that's insane. It's that's there's then then we venture into to to, to Delulu. Also, there's an element why I know he's never been the golden boy, but he comes from like racing royalty, and there is a nipple baby aspect of his career. So it's not just pure, not golden boy. Yeah, it's more muddled than that. Like it's a little, it's a little. He didn't do. He didn't do great. He wasn't like a. He wasn't stunning in his junior career. Right. And if it wasn't for like. Carlos Sainz Sr., he probably yeah. wouldn't be on the... He, you know, it's kind of like this Yuki Sonoda thing mm-hmm. where, like, Yuki's a very good driver, but if he didn't mm-hmm. have the Honda connection, he yes. wouldn't have had the time yes. to blossom into a good driver. Right. Whereas, like, Carlos Sainz, because of his connections, because he's had such good mentorship, yes. he's been able to blossom into a great driver. Yeah. I would say a very good driver. And I think it's interesting... Like to say that Leclerc has been a golden boy. It's interesting that you say that, 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 that person says that because Leclerc has a lot of talent, but he did not grow up with money. Right. He, 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 he lost his father very young. And it's like his, been his talents and his dedication right. that, so he's kind of, he's been star crossed in his own way. Like to say, to look at yeah. Leclerc and be like, man, that guy's had it all lined up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His it's whole just life is kind of, to look at them as some binary of, yeah, well, this yeah, guy's sure. had everything and Leclerc's, like, Leclerc's had everything and Sainz had nothing. That's just not, or like, oh, yeah, Lewis. 
What a golden child Lewis yeah, had. Yeah, Lewis yeah, has, yeah, had, yeah. has had such a charmed upbringing. Like, <laughs> Lewis has had to make some, make, made some really difficult decisions at McLaren, you know, with, yeah. with his, with which team he had to pick in his junior series. McLaren, you know, wanted him to stay an extra year, <gasps> picking the wrong F, like, and, and, you know, not having that much money. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of these great mega talents, they're actually made in the furnace of, yes, of, of, uh, of, a lack of adversity of, 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 of adversity of, of with having not having of without right. of being without max verstappen i mean nepo yeah. but like a real whiplash situation yeah by yeah, his own yeah, yeah. admission mm-hmm. so to say if you look at these golden childs and you're like right. well they're they're just it's like that came f- that was that yeah. that they had their own suffering right there was no red carpet sort of unfurled for them in the early right. years yes yes um so there's this great part in uh the, the in the max verstappen documentary Doc. yeah where uh where uh yas was like yeah i did his engine i did everything mm-hmm. like i built mm-hmm. everything i drove him everywhere max never had to think about where he was going to, who was going to set up his car, how it was going to work. He was like, I did everything for my son. So he had a really easy. And then he just cut <laughs> yeah, to yeah. Max and Max was like, that's bullshit. It was not easy at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With my dad. Yeah. 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 Like maybe from a logistical standpoint, it was easy, but right. that came at a cost. So yeah, I think, you know, pressure makes diamonds and mm-hmm. I, and, um, yeah, I, I just don't see it as this binary thing. Oh, it's also just interesting. People, it's it's interesting. Um, people are questioning Lando Norris's like whether he is in that uh-huh. fucking psycho dog tier, and he comes from a yeah. very privileged and, background. Right. Yeah. And and he's he, in the furnace. He's in the furnace right now. He's in the furnace That's right for now. Fucking sure. And we'll so, see if it if it's going to be a, a lump of coal or a diamond that comes out at the end of it. Right. That's kind of the the uh the situation now um speaking of carlos science franco calipinto pretty good uh pretty good showing yeah better debut than the more highly doubted prospect oh yeah yeah oh yeah let's get into fucking <laughs> so, yeah i mean franco franco did a fine job yeah yeah at least as good or better he managed to he he had a moment, but he didn't yep. fucking completely throw it into yep. the wall. Yep. Um he did pretty well. Nick DeVries did do better in that Williams yep. at yep. Monza. Let's just Yeah, let's be let's be But let's give him that. some time. Let's totally. give him some time. But so far, so so good. Mm-hmm. But he did do better than Kimmy Kimmy <laughs> Antonelli. Dude. Kimmy Antonelli, dude. Coming in hot, throwing it into the barriers. I there's a great picture in our group chat of like him holding Kimmy. Yes, I want to be held like that. <laughs> I want. I've never been held like that by anybody. Yeah, I want Daddy to, Toto. I to hold want my unconditional waist. love. It is so crazy how it's been. Kind of, he's been rubber stamped. Like mm-hmm. Kimmy can't do anything at this point. Because mm-hmm. it's like, because you know when he threw it in the wall, I'm like, oh, he's got the seat. Because, right. Usually when, usually when, when you're they, in those FP1 sessions, they say don't yeah. crash or your career is right. over. One so one they, rule, one, one rule, rule, don't crash. It's one rule, don't crash. Yes. that's their Batman one rule. And have like, your fun. And this is papaya rules. Don't fucking crash. Okay. And they drive it at 95 percent of their ability. Yes. To make sure that they don't crash. We're like Toto's like, listen, you got the seat. You can do you can do no wrong. Yeah, have fun, babe. Set some lap times. Yeah. Make me look like a genius. And then when he crashes, Toto just goes, All good, Kimmy. All it's okay. Good. It's okay, Kimmy. It's okay, it, Bobby. It's that Gordon Ramsay meme. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like, oh, you, you don't worry. You, you that that child that's crying. There's that there's that meme where Gordon Ramsay is like comforting a crying child. Oh, okay. I don't know that one. I know the idiot sandwich one, which I thought 
You There's this meme, Jenny. I don't know if you could find it. It's this meme where Gordon Ramsay. It's like it's like him comforting, a, like he's like doing Hell's Kitchen with kids, and this yeah, yeah, yeah. girl, little girl chef, is crying. He's like, "Oh, darling, sweetheart, like no, don't." And then it cuts to him like with an adult, and he was like, "You yeah, yeah, dumb yeah. donkey." Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, that's yeah, him yeah, to George yeah. Russell now, right? Because right, when he right, was right. questioned, he was saying like, "Oh, I decided about um, Kimmy the second Lewis left." And, uh, and then I was trying to sign Max Verstappen. And then everyone, you know, you start thinking like, wait a minute, what about George Russell? Like George Russell's yeah. in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So. I mean, George had to toil away at Williams for three years, I think. Yeah. Three years, George was at. And then Kimmy's getting the seat. He crashes on his first FP1. And then he crashes getting, George's car. Puts George, George's car. Which is also like, why is he driving George's car? Maybe because it's the most soup. Soup's got all the I newest things. I think they they things. made those. They they, they scheduled they made those, those decisions like, while, long ago. Long in advance. Just seems like it should be Lewis's car. <laughs> they should have. Cra- it feels karmically like it. Sh- he should have crashed Lewis's car. Yeah. No, but it it makes it actually is more like it's more telling that it, uh, you know it's it's more rich that he crashes George's car because George is there watching it and it's just like. This kid's fucking up my weekend, and he's about to fuck up my year. Right. He's about to fuck up my life. Right. It's, I mean, it's we'll like s- it's all about Eve, you know, the the new year or, or Black Swan or. Yeah. It, it sucks because George George had like two years where he was like the the new the yeah. the, the new the new girl. Yeah. And that's it. Now year three or is it or is this his third year at Mercedes? No, is this. Is this his third this year? This is his. It was twenty two. No, this might be his third year, Jenny. Jenny third we, year. Third year. This is his third year. year. So he's had three years to be the new girl. Yeah. And now he's he's old news. He's a has been. He's washed up. Yeah. He's he's Toto has all all. That's just crazy. Now his eyes. Now Toto. It yeah. does. It doesn't matter how Kimmy does in F two. Does it matter that he throws it in the wall? I was thinking, could they have at least held the announcement? Right. Let's delay. But let's but delay honestly, the announcement. But honestly, it shows. It's actually. I was kind of here for the announcement because it's just like it shows how committed they are to him. They're like, yeah, he can crash. I, you know, like he's our fuck. Like he's our guy. It just need. You know what? It, 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 it's like it need. He needs to be the next Hamilton. He just needs to. They're like. There's so rubber much pressure stamping on him. it. Because it needs it's, to happen. I know. There's so I, much pressure. It's just like and, I don't know and, if you know, that is a good thing. I don't know either. I don't know. We don't. I don't know much about Kim Antonelli. I don't know his story. I know that you 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 talked about how this this thing he's where he won was like, everything. I know he's won everything, but like I don't know much about like his personal. Like we were just talking right. about like Leclerc's, Hamilton's, Max's like struggles. What made them into the Golden Boys? Like I don't know. I think Kimmy comes from a pretty wealthy family. His dad, um, I, think, I think, is a racer. I think that, like, maybe I'm, I'm not sure about this. Will is has he been already formed into the diamond, or is there maybe a little bit of the Lando Norris boy wonderish to him, where like when he gets into that seat, maybe? I mean, hey, listen, if George gets out there and fucking is like wiping the floor with him, that's then you know it's if that happens two years in a row, three years in a row, then it's going to be hard for them to just be like, no, he's still our guy. You know, after your second or second year. It's like you're in this shit now. You're not a. Rookie. It's interesting because it's like it feels like there there was a Max Verstappen sized hole. Yes. When uh, Helmet sort of plucked Max away and put him in Toro uh-huh. Rosso. Yeah. And then now there's like this Lewis Hamilton sized hole. Mm-hmm. There's like and Max th- Verstappen hole. And a Ma- so there's a Lewis Double. Hamilton. <laughs> there's this Lewis Hamilton sized hole. Well, because they filled the max, they filled the max hole with with uh, George. George, but it, he did, but they're they're feeling like he's not really filling it. Yeah, he's not filling that hole. He's but, not filling. Yeah, it. Obviously, so he's not. There, there's this you know. Lewis Hamilton because because if George could fill the max for Stappen Hall, he'd be trouncing Lewis right now, and he's yes, just not exactly right. Lewis, even old man Lewis, old man like yeah. shitty Wolverine like Logan, <laughs> like yeah. Lewis, like he's yeah. in his Logan old man era is still beating the <laughs> shit out of George, like. Yeah. Old man Wolverine with the with the with the slow coming out. If you guys seen Deadpool, the the whiskey dick claws is still yeah. just bodying George. So, so yeah. So they have this Max Verstappen size hole, 
And then they have this Lewis Hamilton size hole. And Toto is trying so hard to just shove Kimmy into this <laughs> massive, these massive holes. Or now I'm going to yeah. switch it to these massive Lewis slash Max Verstappen clown shoes. Yes. Right. They're double, they're huge clown shoes. Yes. And he's rushing Kimmy and he's like, <laughs> he's got to fill these clown shoes. Yeah. He has to be otherwise. Yeah. Because he's trying to, he's like on tilt, like a gambler on tilt. He's trying yeah. to make it all up because he lost yeah. Max. Now he's yeah. lost Lewis, and Kimmy is going to fill these clown shoes. Yep. And that's a lot of pressure to not only fill the Max hole, but the Lewis hole too, like two of the best drivers. Yeah. Like one, the best driver in history, and the other, like maybe gonna be the best driver in history. Yeah, the of his era. Yeah. I mean, people say that they left George at Williams for too long, but. This is like the other way. Even yeah. Max got a, a year or at least at, at Toro Rosso. Yeah, year year and a half at Toro Rosso, yeah. So, I don't know. They let him fucking... They let him just drive around in obscurity. At least for No, a he's going to be... It's going to be a ton of pressure on him. We'll see if he... You know, we've watched this in other... You know, rarely does like a guy who comes in with the like... This is what's, you know, interesting and great about like LeBron James. that he Yeah, was, like, he's like the only so, one... He's like for someone who was as, you know, the, the touted as he was. Like the expectations were so high, and then he's been able to meet them in a, in a way that like even maybe exceeded what people thought that he was going to be. But like Zion Williamson Zion came Williamson. into the, Zion came in the league. He's the fucking truth. This guy's the next guy. No, no, no. Actually, he's not. You know, uh, Wemby, right? Yeah. Wembyamas. Now oh, he's in, good. He's, He's good, but it's like he's – there were better rookies, arguably, this last year. Right. Um, so it's like – it's it's a ton of fucking pressure. And but I remember you get when O.J. Mayo in. came in, everyone's like, O.J. Mayo is going to be, like, totally. fucking amazing. And yeah. There's always guys like that. And they almost – they almost never pan out. Yeah. I Nico mean, Hulkenberg seems, yeah. was, like, hot shit when he came in. Totally. Kevin Magnuson, totally. hot shit when he came in. Totally. George Russell, hot shit when mm -hmm. he came in, is now considered very good. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm interested to find out. I mean, Max, let's say Max does leave uh -huh. in 2026, which is looking more and more likely just by the Yas first yeah. of it all. Right. And just, just the implosion that's happening. Because the first half of this season has been absolutely epic. And guess what? It's only going to get better because one of the most anticipated races is just around the corner. The Las Vegas Grand Prix. And we're not just watching from home. We are headed to Vegas November 21st to the 23rd to catch all the action live. Remember last year? We're talking over 180 overtake speeds, topping at 215 miles per hour, not KPH, miles per hour. Because we're in America, Las Vegas is in America, and in America, we say miles, because that's what we have chosen to do with our life. The jaw-dropping Las Vegas Strip backdrop. This year's race is going to be even more insane, and here's the thing. It's not just about what's happening on track. This is Vegas, where the entertainment is next level, and the food and drinks out of this world, and all-inclusive in most ticket types. Vegas knows how to do it right, and the race weekend is going to be a party that you do not want to miss. So do yourself a favor. Get your tickets now. Be there in person. For one of the best races of the year, head over to F1LasVegasGP.com slash tickets to grab yours. That's F1LasVegasGP.com slash tickets. And we will see you there, Bankas. I mean, who goes, who fills that seat? To Red Bull? Because it's either, it's either George Russell goes there or I'm thinking oh like, God. if you're, if you're can Lando you imagine, Norris, if you're Lando George Norris, Russell, yeah. if you're Lando Norris, are you like, whoa. Yeah, thank God. Get me go the there. fuck out of here. Give me the fuck out of McLaren. Oh. I see. You're going to find me. Way. I go to my reps. I go, get me the fuck. Fuck this papaya rules. Well, shit. there is. I there put is nine a... years in here. Yeah, and yeah. now Oscar. And now you. And now I, I get treated like yeah. I'm just I'm just some other girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar Piastri comes in and. Yeah. And 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 bats those bats bats those lashes and it's over. <laughs> and Mark Webber bats those lashes for him and says, Yeah, bitch. <laughs>
Mark Weber goes str- str- with his weird gait, goes striding into the office. Mark Weber walks so weird, it's scary. Yeah, he's got a halting gait. He's got a halting he's gait. Off. I would I would agree to anything if that guy put a I'd be like, okay, whatever you want. Just get the fuck out of my yeah. office, Mark. <laughs> it's good. It is it was a little bit Joker vibes. Yeah. Yes, it was Joker vibes. Um so yeah. Mark, if you're looking to branch out into podcasting, we need an agent. So yes. that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, fucking a. Should we get into? Do we want to cover anything before we get into the awards? I mean, K. We got K. Mag. Race ban. It's official. It's happening. I mean, for all of the vehicular terrorism <laughs> that he has done. Yes. Then this is like busting Al Capone for taxes. I mean, it's yes. just. Yes. It's such bullshit. They got He's him on so much worse. They got yeah. him on these fucking. They got him on a fucking <laughs> jaywalking charge. This is crazy. Yes, it's such bullshit. It was such a fucking rinky dink, just like ticky tack foul, like bullshit. And this, this is guy has gotten away with part. triple murder, racketeering. <laughs> they get him on. They they got him on the the IRS gets him in the end. It's such so anticlimactic. Yeah, it he's sucks. literally been he's he's been um what's his name from uh um, uh American gangster when when Denzel just shoots the guy in the middle of the street and is like what and then later <laughs> <they're just> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah later they they always get him for tax fraud they always yeah. get him for tax fraud that's what it's they always really, get him it's really it's really uh really disappointing they just fucking they got some Rico together and they got some yeah Rico. literally full Rico charge uh, yeah. Sucks. Free Magnuson, free Kevin. Bullshit. This is bullshit. He even said like, who is it? Daniel Ricardo. He was like, Daniel Ricardo's move on uh, Hulkenberg was like way worse. And he got like a five second penalty. I get 10 seconds mm-hmm. and two points. But the motherfucker, he got a, he got a point. Even he with still the got 10 a, seconds. Yeah. What, he went still out, got a point. Went out. A 10 second penalty. There goes my hero. <laughs> Watch him as, Watch him he, as, as he, he goes. goes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, free K Mag, dude. All right, should we get into our awards? Let's do it. Sure. Hottest moment of the day. Obviously, when Oscar Piastri overtook Lando Norris at turn four, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'll give it. Uh, I think I think I'll give it to Oscar. Yeah, that overtake was fucking sexy. That was a sexy ass little overtake. I'll, I'll, I'll go with you on that. Daddy of the day. Daddy of the day is. We have to give a shout out to our friend's daddy who just texted us. Jim Stangle, who claims uh-huh. to have beat Zach Brown at Monterey last August. Whoa. We have a friend whose dad raises historic cars. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Oh my god! I'm just seeing. I'm seeing. We gotta, we gotta ask. Text. We gotta ask Jim Stangle about. Uh, yeah. About racing Zach. What he's like. <laughs> if he's got the pace. What's his, what I wonder what his driving style is like. Yeah. Got to find out what his driving style is like. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll get, honorary honorary Jim daddy Stangle. of the day to Jim Stangle, and then. But I gotta give it. I gotta give it to Leclerc speaking Italian. Mm. I mean, there's just. It was I'm giving it to fucking... Zach Brown. The kids are fighting. <laughs> Yeah, and they go to dad, and dad's just like, "You figure it out." Yeah, he's he's seen... figure figure it out amongst yourselves. I'm not getting involved. I couldn't tell if he was actually unbothered by what was happening. He just like he's such a fucking energizer bunny. He's so like he's so excited about everything that's happening that he's just kind of like, "You're not gonna get me down, Nico Rosberg. You're not gonna <laughs> get me down, Will Buxton, dude." Will Buxton went off after the race. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the post race. Will Buxton went off. Yeah, it's disgrace. They're throwing it away. They're, they're throwing. They're throwing it away. I don't know what they are doing. It's terrible. They're they're throwing this championship away. There's no other way to say it. There's no other way to say it. Mm. He yeah. Did. Apparently, apparently, Jenny said he rolled his eyes when when Zach said that there's yeah. two number one drivers. Buxton just fucking eye rolled him, big, just giving full sass. And he's rocking these new outfits. He's rocking all these like kind of like oversized kind of like streetwear outfits. I see what you're rocking, Will Buxton. I see, I see you out there. 
yeah. rocking your fucking oversized jacket. He's bringing his, he's bringing his fuckboy energy to the fucking paddock, and I love it. <laughs> he really is bringing like he was he was saying it like I think a lot of people are feeling it. And, and Nico Rosberg is like, so you guys are like continuously shitting the bed. So yeah. <laughs> thank God for those. Oh, thank God, thank God, for, God for those two. Thank God for that. Nico Rosberg in his powder blue suit, but is oh. a terrorist. Yeah, dude. Love. He did take a picture with the. He did. He did take a selfie with the with the track today. Mm. I wonder who he's cursing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Nico wasn't. Nico and Will were not letting uh, letting them buy. I mean, Nico has got to be near the top of the list for a dream guest. Of course, Nico also oh. was like saying He'd that he'd be such a good guest. Nico was oh, also saying that Alpine are. is for sale. Like he was just a loose yeah. cannon. <laughs> I love him. Just dude. saying the I quiet part out loud. He does not give a fuck. I love Nico. I love him. Um. Yeah. So yeah, he's just letting the kids fucking figure it out. And uh, yeah, I think Lando's got to work it out. Yeah, the kids got to mm-hmm. just like L- Lando's going. Lando's going over to 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 Os- to, to Zach going. Oscar hit me. Yeah, and then yeah, Zach's yeah, yeah. like, "Well, hit him back." I don't know what to yeah. tell you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that is kind of what he's saying. Hit him back. He's he's hard on that. He's saying that with his chest. I don't know if, how much he means it or whether he's contractually obligated to. But he's saying it. <laughs> he is saying it with his fucking chest. Yeah. Loud and clear. We have two number one drivers. Okay, radio of the day. There were a lot of good radios today. I mean, it was obviously there was only one. It was which one? Charles Leclerc's radio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Being like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, no. He, <laughs> well, no. He's like, "You asked me to do this." He's like, "Stop with this." Oh, <laughs> that was so good. Oh, that was so good. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, they were like, break balance 10. He goes, leave me alone with this. If I don't do things you ask, don't ask 10 times. This was so <laughs> giving me yes. like my girlfriend, like, did you go to the yeah. farmer's market and pick yeah. this thing up? Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to the farmer's market. Right. It's not happening. Yeah. If I don't do, if I don't do things you ask, don't ask me 10 times. That, you know, that's, I want that. I want that sound to be <laughs> yeah. on request for yes. people in my life. You just have like a little button. Shit. Yeah. You just have a little button with you. Someone asks. Yeah. And he's, I love that he questioned the strategy and then it, uh, then it all worked out brilliantly. He's like, <laughs> love you guys. Yeah. And I love that. I never, I never doubted you guys for a fucking never doubted second. You guys for a second. Never, never doubted you guys. Also, Nico, I got to give Nico a shout out because when he was speaking Italian. Yeah. Making us all feel left out. Nico like quickly translated it because Nico's like, I fucking know Italian too, bitches. Yeah, dude. I am yes. also the most interesting man in the fucking world. <laughs> I do got to say that like I like when he speaks Italian. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. I like not knowing what he's saying. A little bit is nice. They should do it more. I mean, it makes me feel a little left out, but I was enjoying it for like. 80% of it. And then I was like, all right, yeah. enough of this. And I also, I, I know I do it, you know, whenever he's on, but I just got to give another shout out to Davide Valsecchi because I love him so fucking much. I just love, I want, we need to get him on the pod. Mm. The Ita- there's, yeah, there's something beautiful about the, Ita- the Italian enthusiasm. It's so think- unvarnished. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Like we were in Silverstone when Lewis won. Yes. And it was just like, all right, cool. Yeah. It's so American. It's, it's, there's actually, there is a Venn diagram between like American fans and like Italian Ferrari fans. Like they're just in your face. They're loud. They're shirtless. (laughs) Just like they paint themselves the colors and shit you know like there's just a kind of like unabashedness to the to the excitement now theirs is more like filled with like pure joy than i think american fandom which is like more filled with like venom. misplaced anger and yeah. venom but yeah it's it's um the glee in which they run onto the track is just right I- I think, you know, when people say like, and you know, cause for a long time we were, we, we were out on Ferrari. We didn't like, we were, you know, we had a whole fuck Ferrari segment for, to this show. 
But I think when people say like everyone is a Ferrari fan, even if you are not a Ferrari fan, you're a Ferrari fan. There is as much as they are like top dog. There's just something kind of underdog about them. Well, there's a randomness to the fact that Italy has this great racing team. Yes. Like, what is Italy like? The best <laughs> on the, on the world stage. Th- this and food. Food and this. Yeah. Food, Fa- fashion. Jenny say fashion, but I'm saying like in geopolitics, yeah. like Italy right. isn't considered. Right. No, 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 no. I- Italy isn't on the UN Security Council. No. Right. It's culture. It's it's There's like cultural significance. Cultural things, right? And but and and a lot of that culture goes very far back. It's not necessarily yeah. like recent culture. It's all like this has been around fucking. Forever, even though Italy, like as a country, you know, it's it's relatively young compared to other. It was just like as a nation, as a nation, it's young. But as yeah. a, like, but the the city no, the, states, the, the, the states, city states are, and the, the are you know, old as fuck, the, of course. But um, as like the borders as we know them. But no, I think that there was. I I I saw it today. Like they won this race. They're not really in the hunt this year. But there was just the enthusiasm for like Ferrari one and Monza. The like there was kind of like there's it's there's a cuteness to the fandom. Yeah, and, because, if you understand- and it's because they're not that good. But and I think if they started dominating, then it gets icky. If they were truly powerful, capital P powerful in this world, then I think it, that's when it gets icky. They're they're nice. Well, I as think that like, isn't that with any team. Doesn't any team get annoying? If they of course, all the time? but they're not like necessarily all cute to start with, you know. And it's like when your dad snowboards and all the kids ski now, and like it's like there's a certain time where it becomes it like, switches up on you. Yeah, it switches up on you. Okay, um, Karen of the day, the FIA. Mm-hmm. For taking going my boy after. Came. I mean, he's already out. out of the sport. Yeah, you're fucking doing him like this. God damn bullshit. you! Some ticky tack bullshit. Also, he was doing shit earlier in the year that was like, that should be, and then they like didn't, but now they're doing it. Payback of the day brought to you by Cash App. Who got payback today? Oscar Piastri. Leclerc. Yeah. I mean, he remember how down he was last yeah. week? 22 seconds. Oh, geez. And Lando was fuck. like, yeah, I'm the new yeah. fucking kid in town. <laughs> yeah. That was like a fucking mirror image. Yeah. Truly, no, you were th- that. Yes, last week's cool down room versus this week's cool down room. It was room a mirror is. image because now Leclerc is like, I'm, I'm fucking cock of the walk this week, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Lando, Lando was so fucking depressed. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Those two guys are just, they're just, um, they have no poker face. It's crazy. I know. They really are like cut from similar cloth, I think, the two of them. Because like I, I we love Leclerc, but like Leclerc kind of like, you know, twenty twenty two, he was fumbling some bags in a kind of Lando Norris esque. It's, it's it's aspects of this feel kind of familiar. But Lando Lando has a little bit of Lando's a little bit more like, ooh, let me do some self deprecating. Let me make some snide right. remark. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And he then covers. go back to being he tries he to He covers cover it with like with British, there's like a Britishness to it, like with a dry wit, and there's like a kind of self effacingness to it. Whereas yeah, Charles. The player is, just is like, no wit. It's just <laughs> open wounds. Raw. Raw just, <laughs> unironic yes. depression. Uh, just a, a whole right to the heart. Lando's Land like, well, maybe I'll just jump off a bridge. Yeah, ripper yeah. derp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Lando's Leclerc, like, internal- Leclerc's like, maybe I'll just jump off a bridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Lando's like internally bleeding, and yeah. Leclerc's just like pouring it, pouring yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In front of you. Yeah. Vanka's not only does Cash App sponsor our favorite perfectly branded Formula One team, but they also make it easier for you to save money so you can do things that you love, like going to an F1 race, boobies. Listen, to be honest, we thought that Cash App is just a way to send people money, right? You just send people money. Hey, Cash App me. Okay, I got you. But actually, it's a faster and simpler way to bank. You can start saving with as little as $1 with no hidden fees, no minimum balance requirements, and no account fees. Minimum balance requirements is crazy. It's just like, let me live. 
And Cash App lets you do that. And we all know that overdraft fees make no sense. Why are you charging someone if they don't have any money? Plus, when you deposit $300 or more in paychecks, you can get up to $50 in free overdraft coverage. It pays to get paid on Cash App. So go download the app today. Now back to the show. Um, okay, and red flag of the day. Two different line ri- line readings. It's, yeah, well, I'm stupid. And I am stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, what, red flag of the day? Red flag of the day. I think we have to take a moment. Everybody that like gets too upset about a given result. Mhm. Everyone's like, "Oh, McLaren, they're fucking it up." <laughs> Did we not just watch like just taking a 10,000 foot view of the situation cuz I'm a big Oscar Fi- Piastri fan. Yeah. He, my but I'm also a Leclerc fan. And I, and you know what? As much as I'm not a huge Lando fan, I do want there to be a championship battle. I right. think the ch- but if we look at it, people that that take everything so seriously and they don't look at the forest from the trees. I think we got everything we wanted from this race. Championship battle was still alive. We got yep. a lot of drama and we got a Leclerc win at Monza. Yeah. Like it checked a lot of boxes. Like oh, but your guy didn't get the win right but he but he made it he made enough progress in the championship lead that's still a lie yep we we got a great race today and and you could have totally. not have show run like if you were the showrunner uh-huh of f1 of the, the scripted right. show yes you couldn't have written this better yeah if 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 this comes down like the final race, right? You still you you do kind of want it to come down to the final race, right? So it's like if he if he got twenty points on Max today, then all of a sudden it's like oh shit, he might actually win this thing like earlier than what we were thinking. We want this thing to come down to Abu Dhabi. Look, if if Lando DNF's next race, then yeah, I'm wrong this week. But right now yeah. it feels like oh this this narratively it looks like it might just come down to the. Final, final race but would we want it to be one two let one three every race no you want interesting yeah. shit to happen every race. the race where lando won was boring as fuck <laughs> yeah it was boring he won by like 20 something seconds it's a good race just enjoy it i'm with Where's your you. red flag um my red flag is um <laughs> Papaya, papaya rules, baby. Papaya rules. Never yes, heard this. Sir. Never heard yes. this turn of phrase before. Uh, unclear what the definition is. Um, being pressed on it. There's like there's a little bit of sweat on the brow. Papaya rules, baby. Papaya rules. It, it seems weird to brand something that everybody's <laughs> going to end up hating, criticizing. Yeah, and criticizing. <laughs> yes. Well, not everybody hates it. You know, if you're an Oscar. Piastri fan, I guess you don't hate it. And if you like, here's the thing. You shouldn't want team orders. It's so interesting. It's like if you're a fan of just racing, you right. yeah, yeah, want yeah. team orders. Like, right. where are all these people coming from? Like, do you have stock in McLaren? Like, I'm really confused. Like, what what is this like? I get if you're like a Lando fan. But they want it. To, they the, 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 they want it to actually be a championship battle. And today was like an opportunity for it to be like guaranteed that there will be a, that it will be a championship battle. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. That's Look, what it was. But I am happy. Look, if I was running McLaren and there wasn't some contract that is probably definitely there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Zach Brown's an idiot. He just took a team that was in. Do you remember what, like, when Alonzo was calling it a GP2 engine? He took that team, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now they're the best team. They're the fastest car. That guy must be a fucking idiot. Yeah, no. Yeah. He's clearly really good at what he does, so there right. must be a fucking compelling reason, like it's in his fucking contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I think we should just be thankful that we get, that we're totally. getting such a good... No, it was still a net. Today was a total net posse. I think, you know, if, if you and I were Zach Brown, we'd probably institute team orders. But thank God he didn't because we got a great race. <laughs> that is true. This is true, baby. Okay. 
Fuck Mary Kill this podium. Lando, Oscar, Charles Leclerc. Mm. Well, I'm obviously l- marrying Oscar because he's basically in the family already. Right, of course. Killing Lando because yeah, put God a, put damn it. Put, a, put, put him, him out, out of his, his fucking miss. misery. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking Leclerc. And yeah, then, one and, night with he, Leclerc, and it's and it's he's tonight. Speaking Italian. It has to be. It, yeah, he has to speak Italian to me all the whole time. The whole time, I don't. I don't want to understand a single fucking uh, word he's saying. But it, but you know what he's saying, right? It's a love yeah, because language. It's Italian is a language love of love. Language, baby. Right. 90 percent of communication. I want I want him verb. to say to me. I want him to treat me like he treated those fucking second set of tires, dude. Yeah, just work. Just just ease me in. Just ease me in, slow just and gentle. Ease me in, bubby. Um. Uh, all right, Baku, next race, Predicciones. I feel like Leclerc. I don't know. I like him. I like him. on. The, I, he did good. He did good on the last uh, big street trip. He did good in Monaco. We did well in Monaco. Yeah. I'm yeah. liking Leclerc here. I think um, while uh, the McLarens are busy <laughs> with their papaya yeah. rules, yeah. Leclerc is going to put his head down and get to f- fucking work. Also, they have that big, you know, there is a, there's a ton of 90 degree turns on that uh, course, but there's that huge, big, long straight. So that straight line speed looking good. I think it'll be bad, bad, bad news for Red Bull because they are not good on them bumpiness. And that's going to be a street track and be bumpy. Yeah, they and they um, did well in Singapore last year. They they did they, well in Monaco. Well in, they're they're in good the, in these and, street and, tracks. And Vegas. And, and Vegas. Vegas. They did well in Vegas. They're, they're good at these street tracks. I think yeah. Leclerc is going to be a fucking weapon, and he's going to mm. ride that momentum. Dude, how good is the Vegas race going to be this year? Considering last season sucked and that race was amazing, Yeah, and Leclerc almost fucking won that race, Yeah, it's going to be a fucking bloodbath. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. It is going to be, it's probably going to be the best race of the year because it was the best race of last year. It might be the best mm-hmm. race of the decade because this is the best season yeah. in a long time. Yeah. So it might honestly be the best race in a very long time. I mean, it's the third to last race. So by this point, there will be like the championship battle will be f- getting tighter. It's only yeah. going to be getting tighter. All these teams, there's just going to be so much at play. And last year there was like nothing at stake, and right. it was a thrill, and it was thrilling. Yes. So this year there will actually be things at stake. Right. It's, it's going to be. It's Im- going to be. It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. We know because we know McLaren's good. Hmm. We know. And we know Ferrari's, Ferrari's going to be going to the- be competitive. Ferrari Hopefully will be competitive. Mercedes will. We'll keep progressing. And if Red Bull sorts out their kinks, we'll have like a four way fight. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be in the amazing. greatest city in the world. In the greatest city in the world. <laughs> Las Vegas. And, and who and will Max be singing Viva Las Vegas again this year? I don't think so. But who's going to be singing think... Viva Las Vegas? Will Lando sing Viva Las Vegas if Dude, he wins? Dude, Max the... has a one in six rate. Dude. Remember when just Max if somebody else again. won, it was a, I know. It, was, it was amazing. He's just like not going to win for the rest of the year, probably. Remember when last year we were so excited that, Le- that we were like, that Charles Leclerc passed Lando, sorry, Charles Leclerc passed Max Verstappen on pace, and we were just like, oh my God. Remember when he just DNF'd one race and we were excited <laughs> yes. that someone yeah. won just because he didn't finish? Yeah. Yes. Now he's just like straight up just not winning because he's not fast enough. Yeah. Oh, I love that moment where he was like, "Am I fighting? Am I fighting uh, Lando, guys? Guys!" What a crazy radio! It's the, yeah. now he has to ask if he can fight. I know. He has to ask and permission. Like, I know, and they're like, "Yes, please." <laughs> <laughs> but he still could, yeah. It's well, he also he's probably also now he's really thinking like, "Fuck, I can't, I can't like get into an accident, or I'm really I know. fucked." Yeah. Yeah, I remember. In, I remember in prevent defense. They're I remember in twenty two, or I think it was twenty two. He was he was up by a lot, and he just was like, and his he was in a nowhere race. I think he had a uh, puncture. He got repaired or an engine penalty, and he was in P ten, yeah, or or P eleven with Mick Schumacher. And mm-hmm. Mick Schumacher tried to like 
fight yes. him. And he was like, fuck out of here, Mick Schumacher. Yeah, yeah I think that was in and, Hungary. Yeah, and he was just like, I'll get I'll get into a DNF. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not like Mick Schumacher <laughs> send it on me. He can't do that anymore because he doesn't yeah, have that what, kind of lead. Yeah. Listen to what James Val says. Mick Schumacher is not fucking special, dude. <laughs> dude. We don't have time. Uh, where's we'll, we'll, where's we'll get... Ralph? Where's Ralph going to What's Ralph going to say about that? Dude. He doesn't have to say anything. Toto's fucking in there sitting James Val's down and saying, you do not talk about Mick like that. And then James Val goes in the press and says, I should not have talked about Mick like that. The, 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 the love affair continues. Um... We will talk to Gunter about that because we have Vanka hours coming out on Thursday. So we will cover whatever we didn't cover today. Don't worry. We're going to cover it because there's, there's even more that we didn't get to today. But amazing race. Amazing <sighs> week. Still going on. Lando Norris, I think he's still going to win this championship. Sorry. I would say 50-50. I would say 50-50. He's still well, going to win what, it. What would you say the odds are? I'd say it's 55-45, baby. 51-49. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm giving. I it. really think it's a coin flip. Yeah. Could you imagine if he wins the World Drivers Championship and he's just getting a lot of seconds and thirds? It will just, just feel so weird. Bleh. Yeah. If Max no, he is just might, getting eighths and yeah. ninths, yes. Yeah. It'll be like be- Raikkonen, Kimmy, like Kimmy's win in 07. That was just kind of like what? Or the reverse of what happened to Braun. Like if like right. Like he just kind of just m- yes chipped away at the brawn thing, yeah. Um, it's crazy, crazy. It would be nice if he could just fucking put a few statements together. Everyone's like, yeah. you know, Lando, Lando, he could win the champ. I'm like, can he win more than two races? Thank you. Can it feel can, like he's winning the championship? Can yeah, it feel can like feel that? it? Yeah, I know he like might it. be win. He might win the championship, but can it feel like he's going to win the championship? Can it feel like he won? That would be nice. It could be nice if it felt like he won. Yeah, because the feel my feelings of the points don't feel like yeah. You, you're don't fast. Ca- well, what well, may not care about your facts of the yeah. point total? Yeah, yeah exactly. that's that's kind of what might happen. Yeah, if he gets third every race and Max gets eighth, like how is that yes. gonna fucking feel? Yeah, not great. Um. Yeah, I'm sure Lando fans are going to be happy with this episode. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, I, it's getting to me, though. All this, all these comments, man, they're so mean. Why can't I just talk shit about a millionaire? Like, why can't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from your apartment in L.A. that... From my closet of an apartment. Why can't I do that? <laughs> what is... You can't, dude. Cause he's land, cause he's the precious baby angel, dude. I'm a Lando fan. I let, I, 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 I give you pass. I give you permission. But it's people who are like, you're good. You're so negative. Kill yourself. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what is that comment? Dude, they think you're. They feel like you're punching down at a at the at the millionaire. Yeah, I'm punching down at the millionaire. People race say they and, they and they didn't grow up with critical Jewish parents, and it shows. <laughs> and they're not from New York. <laughs> and we're from New York. We're being but they also say we don't and... understand banter. I'm like, I, yeah, okay. right. That's what's. I love that. That's that's hilarious. It's no, just I understand banter. banter. I understand shit talk, and that was shit talk. Right. And Daniel Ricardo said it was shit talk. Also, like they never come back and they'd be like, oh, Daniel Ricardo actually said that that was shit talk. Yeah, and yeah, he knows yeah, better yeah. than all of us. Right. Let me retract that statement and fucking apologize. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're just a couple of fucking. I'm unbothered guys, by the comments, though. So. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why that's I'm talking that, about. That's it. that's, that's what the last about. few minutes have shown. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> all right, Vankas. Until well, we'll see. Vanka hours on Thursday, and we'll be back with red flags. Wait, wait, wait! Monday. Smash the what? subscribe button. Oh yes, subscribe smash to the YouTube. I, we we know you guys smash. are watching. Just subscribe and smash. Man, turn on and turn on notifications is something that people say. Oh, um, we're doing an also, Austin live show. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a show in Austin. Details to come. But it'll be Sunday night, I think, at 9 p.m. So don't get a flight out of Austin that night. Leave on Monday morning like a fucking g- cool guy, girl, person. Okay? Goodbye, Vankas. Goodbye, Vankas. Ciao, Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>